When shopping for a new car, many compare safety ratings, but what about when it comes to health care? Recent ratings by the government show how Hawaii hospitals stack up with the ones across the country. The grades could also lead to better quality care. KITV 4's Paul Drews takes a look at the numbers in the government's hospital compare report. Many island residents say they care about their health. I think health is always a big deal. But not everyone does their homework to check out specific hospitals before they check in. I just follow the uh, doctor's directions. If he says to go a certain, to a certain hospital, that's when I'm going. But now the federal government has gathered up a lot of that important information and posted it online. It's a wonderful thing for the government now to be trying to provide information to the public about here's the quality, here's the safety, here's the patient satisfaction for these various hospitals. The good news is, is that um, when you look at the hospitals across Hawaii, we're doing at least as well as the rest of the country. But like the rest of the country, nearly six out of every 1,000 patients will get a serious complication after surgery, like a blood clot. And various island hospitals do worse than the national average for some hospital-acquired conditions, like Kuakini's rate for bed sores, which is nearly seven times the U.S. average, or Straub's infection rate from urinary catheters, which is over ten times the national average. The information posted by Hospital Compare is from 2010, and Dr. Virginia Pressler with Hawaii Pacific Health says Straub's infection rates have dropped since then, but there is always room for improvement. Quality is one of those things that you never finish. It's never going to be good enough. You're, not, you're always going to be striving to improve quality. And quality is the key to this new rating system because those hospitals that don't reach required levels won't get as much money back from the federal government. Traditionally, uh, reimbursement is based on volume. So the more patients that go through a system, the more procedures that are performed, the more reimbursement that uh, health care providers would receive. Under the Affordable Care Act, that paradigm is shifting to paying for quality. Hospitals will not only have to meet safety standards, they also have to meet patient satisfaction ratings. That include nurses and doctors always communicating information, explaining medications, or managing pain. Many in the healthcare industry say these numbers are just some of the tools people should use so they know what to expect before they go in the hospital. Become informed consumers about their health care just like they are with any other uh, product that they might use. Paul Drews, KITV4 News. Many local hospitals post safety and satisfaction information online on their own websites. If you'd like more details on the federal government's hospital compare data, just head to our website, KITV.com.